Hey everyone, uh, today I want to go over uh, the push-up and push-up variations. So the push-up is one of the best exercises that I like to use with both beginners, uh, intermediate and advanced. Uh, there's many different ways to load the push-up. There's many different angles, uh, body adjustments you can use to shift the focus on the muscle fibers uh, that you're hitting. And the main, uh, the main muscles that the push-up works is the chest, the front of the shoulders, and the triceps. And it's also going to work the stabilizers of the shoulders and the core uh, and hips as well to keep your body uh, flat. So um, the push-up is good because you don't need any equipment to do it. So you can do it at home. Uh, you could do it anywhere. It's just the only problem is um, a lot of people are not uh, strong enough to do the regular uh, full push-up. So they must be progressed into it. And also uh, for people that do get, you know, pretty strong at it, it is a little bit tougher to load, but I will show you guys uh, how to deal with all of that. So basically, if you're going to start off and you're out of shape and you can't do a regular full push-up, or I find that a lot of women uh, have to start off with this variation as well, because although women can get really very, very strong legs that is comparable pound to pound for, for men, um, their push, their upper body in general, and especially uh, their pushing exercises are uh, pretty weak in comparison, okay? So what I would do I'll just move this down here for you guys. All right, looks good. So uh, if you're gonna start off a push-up, uh, if you're either uh, uh, you know overweight, out of shape, weaker, or uh, generally have a weak pressing power, uh, we could do a couple things for that. You can start off just going from your knees and going halfway down. And start off like that. Right? Once you could do, say, 20 reps or so like that, I would go down to a full push-up from your knees. Okay? So then there would be the next progression after that. Um, and that still might be too hard to go straight to a full push up from your knees, so you can, uh, from your toes. So you could do a couple things here. You could do a push up where you're going slow, 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 resist it on the way down, and then go up. Slow, 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 and two. And three. So all you're doing is you're going, you're resisting the eccentric, which you're stronger at. And once you could do, say, 15 or 20 reps like that, nice and slow down, you should be able to progress to a full push up. Okay, so a full push up would be all the way down, up, all the way down, up, all the way down, up. Okay. So once you could do those and you want to load it, um, what I would do is I would take a band, put it around your back, right? And you could use different uh, resistance of bands. But all you're going to do, one, two, three, four, five, right? So that, that would be good, and then you can load it with a heavier band as you get stronger. Uh, the one thing about bands, again, is that there's no resistance at the bottom, but on top it gets really difficult, okay? Um, there's other variations I can show, like you could put your feet up on something, right? And uh, that'll change, the, and that'll change the, the angle at which you're doing it, which will affect the muscle fibers differently. And then you can also do it with your feet on the ground and, you know, and your hands on like a couch or a bench or something. And that will affect the muscle fibers as well. Uh, all good variations. Um, and honestly, the push-up 
is one of the exercises that I do uh, keep in most of the time for most of my clients uh, in their program. And to be honest as well, is that, you know, since the gyms have been closed, I haven't had any equipment. Um, I haven't had any equipment, uh, like any kind of bench press or dumbbells or anything like that to uh, maintain my chest and my triceps and my shoulders. But uh, just doing the push-ups loaded to failure, even if it's higher reps, like I'm doing like 20, 25, it still has been enough to, for me to maintain my strength and muscle mass for the most part, right? So once again, it goes down to, uh, to taking those, that, those sets to failure. And uh, you know what, if you're traveling or uh, you know, away for work or, or you, you can't make it to the gym, uh, simply by doing you know, push-up variations, you know, three sets, two to three times a week, you're gonna maintain and possibly improve on your strength and conditioning in your, uh, you know, your chest, shoulders, and triceps. So anyways, that's it. Um, if you are planning on working out and you want a, a good multi-joint uh, exercise that you could do anywhere, uh, I would start off with the push-up, start off with the easiest progressions that I showed, showed you, and then as you get stronger, you can uh, work your way up uh, to the very various uh, difficulty uh, uh, types of push-ups. Anyways, that's it.